join me this morning alongside local canal um, just traveling light trying to get a few bites uh, it seems as though it's been a really long winter um, and although I've been fortunate enough to caught some good fish hits have been few and far between so today I've come out just a couple of lures two rods really light just want to get some bites okay so I've come along I've just been dinking along the edge and I'll get a bite so only a small perch but you know what I don't care what size they are today um, it's a fish okay so we've come down we've had a little play um, micro fry on a drop shot getting plenty of bites which is great because they've been hard to come by um, I'm starting to think they might just have it and I know there's some better fish around here so I'm now going to go a bit more positive fish a spiky shad maybe a slick shad give it a bit of a faster retrieve and see what we can do So I've gone out on a spiky. Um, I had a bump off of one. Actually, this might be a perch. It's a better fish, whatever it is. It's not. It's, it's actually fighting like a perch. It doesn't feel like a pike normally. If it was a pike, it'd be it'd be shooting off. Right, it's one of the better fish in here. Well, that's, um, that's worth going from a drop shot to a spiky shad. Um, I know they're in here, um, and it looks as though they're feeding. So yeah, good start to the day. Okie doke, well, we've split from the, we've gone from the drop shot. Um, put a nice spiky shad on, one of my favorites. Oops, come out in the net, but look at that, it's a plumpen. cracking fish and uh, it's only the start of the day. So here we are a couple hours later and a good few fish later. We've had a cracking couple of hours um, few perch, one really nice one, a couple of pike as a not the intended species but um, give you a good run around on the perch kit. Okay so I thought I'd just run you through uh, the tackle I've been using today. Street fighter rods, uh, 3 to 14 gram, 0 to 5 gram. A little bit softer action than the terminators that I normally use but I actually like that, it's ideal on the canal and uh, skeletal rear seat on them means that you feel everything up through the blank. Both rods have got the top two eyes with white whippings which just gives you a visual aid to seeing those delicate bites. Um, both rods fitted with thousand size prism reels an 06 braid on it uh, again for this type of fishing spot on. So on the business end I've got 511 fluoro and uh, two gram jig head with hot olive spiky on that one and on this one I've got a tungsten drop shot lead because I really like that you can feel the bottom with it when, and you go over the hard patches and soft patches and uh, today the killing lure on that was um, the UV perch. Bites have dried up here now so uh, we're going to get back in the vehicles and off we go and try somewhere else. So I hope you're all well and enjoying this video. We've been out on the canal today as you've seen and Trev is catching some nice perch. Um, he's been catching on all types of lures um, but I'd love to know what your favourite lure is for canal fishing. Is it little creature baits, little shads, 
big baits, small baits. Let us know in the comments what your favourite lure is for canal fishing. Here you go. We, uh, we thought we'd have a quick move. We've gone sort of four or five miles down the canal. First cast on a drop shot. And uh, there you go. Cracking. Look at that cracking. Well, that paid off. It just goes to show, even though we knew there were fish where we were fishing, bites had definitely dried up. So we thought, well, we'll give it a move. Try somewhere different, try somewhere fresh, not been touched. First cast, bang, straight in. We've moved spot, had one first cast, had another couple of touches, but really it's absolutely gin clear. We can see shoals of skimmers just swimming around under our feet. Um, it's not ideal. So we're gonna move again, keep moving, keep finding fish. So we'll see you shortly. So, a few bits on lures that I've been using today. Spiky shad, six centimeter. I love them in colored water. Little spikes on the side, give off a little bit more vibration, a bit more water movement. Tail on it, great paddle tail, lots of movement from that. They're small enough to use on a drop shot, but equally big enough to use with a, a jig head. So, really good search and find, all round lure for the canal. Like I say, I love it when it's colored. Um, just because of that reason. My favorite colors, perhaps hot olive, sun dance, and green pumpkin. So I, f I find with these three colors, I can cover most water conditions from clear to really dark colored water. The other lures I've been using today on the drop shot, micro fry in UV perch, great in colored water. In the clearer water, I've been using the stickleback, again, very fine tail going into a big paddle so on a drop shot you can really give them some movement in actual fact on a micro jig head as well just edged along edged along the side works perfect okay that's me done for the day um, it's been a good day this morning was spot on fish were on the feed we had a few um, when they went off the feed we moved place we moved to was crystal clear. Uh, we still had a couple of fish, but um, that died as quick as we got there, really. Um, so we've moved again, finished off here. Um, this hasn't really worked out. We've only spent half an hour here and uh, it's been a long day. So uh, I think we'll call it wraps at that. <laughs>